Hello everybody. How y'all doing? Yeah, I'm doing fine. Still not 100%. Um, I actually ended up having to take the Medrol dose pack because um, uh, the pain was um, almost immediately better. Um, about 48 hours out, but then, you know, they're, all my joints are just kind of like hurting. <clears throat> And it's better now. You know, I've been on the Medrol dose pack for a few days. And it's better. More steroids. But, oh well. That's the way it goes. <laughs> yeah, I've been uh, gotten a little bit puffy. But, it's okay. I, um, yesterday was my first day off from the Midi and Mini, and I could not wait to try to make some of that uh, vegan cheese that's made with oats. Um, it was outstanding. Oh my gosh. I need to pay homage to the lady uh, who made that, the game changer sauce. My son loves it. I'm taking some to my coworkers today. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna have some chips with it. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> But I'm also going to eat the most of it with my potatoes. Yeah, I'm just going to have a couple of chips. <clears throat> I brought the chips for them. And uh, I gave them a taste of it once, with uh, mixed in with my black beans and some salsa. And I uh, made a little nachos for them. I mean, you know, for everybody, and they really, really loved it. So I brought each one of them their little individual cup of that cheese sauce. It's really good. I put a can of Rotel tomatoes in it with chilies. It's really good. Like, excellent. Yeah. All right, so that's my review for the day. <laughs> I'm going to make it. I'm going to film myself making it and show y'all how easy that is. I might do that tomorrow. <clears throat> um, you know, when I, um, you know, I'm like looking at that scale every single time I pass by it, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you are not going to get the best of me. Yeah. <laughs> and then I just ignore it. <laughs> like, nope. <laughs> I'll see you on Monday. And we'll just see. We'll just see about all that. Yeah. <laughs> and then I think about um, how far I've come. You know, how far I've come. And so, and, and what's so funny about it is I feel puffy, but my clothes are fitting better. Go figure. So, who knows? I may get a really big surprise on Monday. That would be nice. Um, and then I think about where, you know, how far I've come. I was almost 300 pounds. And so, here I am. <laughs> You know, right around the two low 240s, all right, maybe better, and um, and so uh, that's quite a bit of weight. In addition, I'm not hurting all the time like I was. I was hurting 24 hours a day. I didn't know what it felt not to hurt, and that went on with me probably. For the last seven years, seven or eight years, some hurt. Some days the hurt would be worse. Other days it would just be there, you know. Um, and that's just a miserable feeling. And I do remember around the time that I realized I wasn't hurting as much. <clears throat> See, I became. Um, plant-based uh, in December of 2016. So it'll be three years in December of this year. And uh, and I think, oh, when I went to see my son in, um, in Hawaii, I visited Hawaii, I went to see my older son and I remember that I wasn't having, I wasn't hurting as much. You know, I was able to actually do a couple of things. Not a lot, 
And then I even had a, a problem, you know, with one of my feet. I think I was in a boot. I always am. I have very weak joints, you know. That's just my life. Um, but, but yeah, I remembered that I wasn't hurting as much. And that's kind of important. And, and then, I, you know, I later found out that my CRP numbers were really, they were almost six. And they're not supposed to be above three. And so my, uh, uh, it's called a C-reactive protein. My CRP numbers were high. Um, and that, that's a, um, a measure of the, uh, the amount, you know, certain kinds of inflammation in your body. That's what that measures, inflammation. And I was inflamed. I was inflamed big time. And, you know, and one of the reasons why I was hurting, I have this thing that I was diagnosed with called a connective tissue disorder. I don't know what that means. And, um, but it's sometimes I just have this, this, these episodes that make my RH factor go really high. Um, no, not RH, um, rheumatoid factor my rheumatoid factor it goes up really high and uh, but I've never been diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis I've never been diagnosed with RA just this other thing called a connective tissue disorder and um, so when my rheumatoid factor goes up it's like I'm in this um, this this uh, crisis sort of um, you know episode that Used to last for several days. I was off work, could not could not function, um, and then um, I would just you know be hurting you know more than usual for a few weeks. This particular episode, it was a piece of cake for if you want to compare it to previous ones before I was plant based. This was, you know, I didn't skip a beat. Um, you know, went to work, was able to function. You know, all the negatives of that just happened in my brain with my weight and all that kind of stuff. Oh, well, what you going to do? And so I think about how far I've come. You know, <laughs> I can't wallow in anything right now. I'm making progress. I'm making a lot of progress. I'm not 300. I'm not almost 300 pounds right now. Number one. Number two, I'm not hurting all the time anymore. <laughs> That's a big deal. I am hurting. You know, you know, my ankles were hurting yesterday, my feet. And that's bad when you're on your feet all day and your feet hurt. And it's the joints, you know. But, you know, overall, I was feeling fine. So, you know, the steroids are, you know, they're working. So. <clears throat> um, and then I think about, um, uh, the num my my uh, numbers my you know where the the where I was headed as far as the traje trajectory of my um, my health life uh, where it was going uh, that was kind of scary you know especially with the triglycerides so high and my um, uh, cholesterol high and you know my I, we have heart disease in our family like big time heart disease. You know, my daddy had two quad quadruple bypass surgeries before he passed away. And uh, his heart disease is very, very major. And I've just got to make sure that I do everything that I can because I was headed that way. And then I was diagnosed with prediabetes. You know, my A1C was 6.3 or something like that. A uh, couple percentage points away from being a bona fide diabetic. So I think that's what grabbed me by the ears. It's when I found out that I was going to be a diabetic. I'm like, no, we can't do that. And then see, on top of all of this, guys, I, I deal with a thyroid issue. I'm not a normal person. <laughs> but <laughs> I've never, I took medicine for my thyroid for probably two weeks. Until I, you know, read and read recent studies and stuff. I'm like putting that stuff in my body. That was just me. <laughs> so I stopped. <laughs> and, and my thyroid has, in, has improved. 
it has improved. It's like it's sluggish now. You know, it's not where I, it needed help. It's just sluggish. So, you know, I just lose more slowly and gain faster. That's just the way it is. <laughs> but because of the way I've been eating, because of my plant-based way of eating, I am, um, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm able to um, lose weight. You know, my thyroid has improved. You know, it's been upgraded to sluggish. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's been a lot of improvements in my life. From the time that, you know, I was, uh, before I became plant-based. And, and this is the way it's going to be. This is the way. I just want to tell everybody. Oh, I hope I get selected for that um, PCRM um, Food for Life program. You know, I've got to start looking at ways of getting money together for that, too. That's going to be quite expensive, but... That'll uh, that'll be a kickstart to the rest of my life, and you know I'll be. Able, they have bona fide classes, like they have a whole series of classes on nothing but diabetes. How awesome is that? <laughs> For me to be able to teach classes to the public about diabetes and its connection to what we eat, you know, and hopefully help people with their diabetes. It's it's a whole curriculum that I just. You know, I just read and learn the curriculum and then I re-deliver it. That is what this is. And I am so pumped. <laughs> they need me as their representative. They need me as an instructor. <laughs> yes, that would just make me so happy. And so, um, you know, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. You know, and, and, and you think about, you know, how far you've come. You know, I've, I've come a long way. My daughter the other day, I told you that, was talking to someone and said, this is the first time I've ever known my mom not to be sick. You know, I get hurt. You know, I have weak ankle, you know, weak joints. But, but sick, you know, not to be sick. She's always known me to be sick. <sighs> Ever since she was born. <laughs> Or remember, because <laughs> I started getting sick um, when the endometriosis attacked me um, back in 2000, 2002. I believe it was 2002. That's when things started going bad. Yeah. All right, people. All I have to say is just think about how far you've come. Even if this is your first mini and you lost two pounds, which is pretty nice for 10 days, actually, <laughs> you know, and um, and you're able to breathe better and you're starting to see some improvements, you know, just just think about how far you've come. And if you've done this for two months or, you know, whatever, think about how far you've come. Let's focus on the good stuff. All right, guys. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.